So about that that group coaching and, and the team that we had, can you describe a little bit about what that was like and how that impacted your work? Yeah, we spent a lot of time in learning about how kids learn mathematics and also learning how can we be facilitators of math instead of teaching teaching math. So being able to facilitate the conversations that stir up those deep conversations for kids, and then how do we help them to find their way uh, in terms of you know, what standards and such that they need to really grapple with their master in the grade level. So we spent a lot of time um, talking about talk moves and digging into what the standards mean and um, as a collective team, and then kind of separating out by grade level. I remember having lots of anxiety around math and not enjoying it. I guess I think about it as I learned it the old school way where we learned algorithms, we memorized how to do algorithms, and we had to know all of these steps and things to do, and that was math. It wasn't any, there weren't games built in, there weren't models built in, um, there wasn't a lot of conversation, it was a lot of individual work. Um, and I just remember just, it was really hard for me as a student. I wanted to create an environment where kids knew how to talk to each other, knew how to agree and disagree respectfully, were able to function within a set of expectations, but also really take charge of the learning because it's really theirs. They have to grapple with the ideas and the work, the models and all of those things. So teaching them how to be in charge of their own learning, but also holding that place as a facilitator to know when they were gonna fall off the path and kind of get them back. Um, and, and they often take mathematics, our journey, in, different, in places I would never have gone or, or places I would never have imagined they could go just by giving them that the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What brings you joy in teaching math? Oh, they do. Their conversations, their aha moments, their ability to, when I hand them a very complex task, their perseverance, and their ability to use the tools that they've learned to tackle that complex thought or idea, that brings me the most joy. When they are getting things, and I'm not really a part of it, I'm really on the outside looking in, just it, that for me is the most rewarding part those aha moments, those little sparks of like, oh, I love math. Mm -hmm.